Hey everyone, I'm Captain Foley. And I am Connor Kongs, and Stuart, it's fair to say that in this grand universe that we live in, that of all the people on this big, wide earth, you, you'll be one that likes, loves, reveres Star Trek, but not just Star Trek, the original 1960 television, television series a lot more than most, and a subsect of more than most Trekkies, it again goes higher in that podium to a special place in your heart, your soul, your very universe. If you say no right now, this will make the whole intro look really bad. So I'm going to say, what? Do, how do you feel about that statement? <laughs> I would say it's pretty accurate. Yeah, I, 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 people might describe me as a TOS fanboy. <laughs> okay, that's the you simple way of saying it, Stuart. Yeah, I went the long you quick way, you went the short way. I get it, okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've always been a fan of TOS because that's what I grew up with. Uh, my brothers were big into TOS, and uh, it's what I remember um, being focused on in my household. That and the movies, um, and I can I can remember the build up to TNG and stuff. So, yeah, um, TOS is where where it was kind of at for me. Plus, with my brother and I playing Starfleet battles, that's very TOS based. So, so it was great to see in uh, this last episode of Lower Decks. Um, TOS kind of um, done properly and respected and I mean we got a little bit of that from an episode or two ago where we saw the the freighter TOS freighter like we didn't get into it as much as I would have liked but that's okay um, at least this one there's quite a few little references and things done properly to represent TOS so obviously as a, as a Star Trek fan, you've been there since, you know, much more start than I have, because you, you were alive longer. In in TNG, we had, obviously, some characters come back, but really only really, really only had one episode of This Is TOS, and that was Relics, where she lived, and for, obviously for the time, it was like, oh, we're back in TOS. And, it was, and then Voyager in DS9, Voyager had the Flashbacks episode, which is a movie reference, uh, where we again lived at Excelsior, but we didn't get any explicit TOS, here is TOS. DS9, they went, Relics, but times a billion. And we got sets, we got costumes, and it was both flawless, but also detailed. And, and you know, and at that time, to recreate anything was based on VHS, but, or maybe just barely DVD then, you know, screen grabs and trying to, you know, that that was then. And in terms of Darkly, we got a dedicated two-parter, or at least one and, th one, and, one, and, one, and one and a fifth, because, you, you know, at the start of the first one, where they rebuilt a ton of sets, and he improved the detail, and he fully embraced it for the second half, beyond where anyone thought they could go. And so for each show except Voyager, they've had a direct TOS uh, cool back and live in, as it were, where TOS was a was a period in Trek, just like going back to, you know, the movies or whatever. You know, it was always a period piece, and then we'll see. Yes, well, Inamir Darkly represented how I thought Star Trek TOS could be redone in a modern era and look great. great. Yeah. And I mean, with modern filming techniques and modern lighting, I thought that thing looked fantastic. It definitely held up. They, and the outside of the ships, again, not changed at all, but kind of upscaled as far as quality and detail goes. As tech and it just subtle. Yeah, and just looks fantastic going by the camera. So that whole argument that TOS doesn't work today is, it's it's an inv invalid argument, I'm sorry. I mean, um, it, so, it'll, it'll look more basic in terms of shape construction but guess what my phone is more simple shape construction than a phone from 15 years ago yeah i mean i used to have a clamshell flip phone which was way more complicated than just a little slab <laughs> so so yeah advancement yeah. tends to be that way and it's a certain style and then obviously you got discovery which was set pre-tos it's reimagined done properly a nice homage um, so yeah, the discovery does look good. It just does not fit in the prime timeline with the original '60s Enterprise. So that's my only issue there. And then obviously um, in Picard, the only reference we got to the TOS era was the Discovery Enterprise as a hologram, which I oh, yes. was, you know, not explicitly the TOS Enterprise. It was just look here's a D and the Discovery era Enterprise. So it's kind of a implicit, explicit. Are we retconning? Who knows what? And then you know, six months later, we have Lower Decks. And what was, your, what was your expectation going in, how they may or may not use TOS then? I never actually thought about them using TOS at all, but I should have known better considering it's animated that <laughs> they would have done something. I'm still expecting a tra time travel episode or a holodeck adventure or something that's TOS-based. Uh, so when we saw the the hints of the Antares class for the preview of that episode, I was like, oh, and they mentioned the clamshell communicators and stuff. I'm like, oh, they're going to do some TOS and do it properly. 
and uh, didn't really happen for that episode. So in reality, the last time we saw TOS actual, the original series, 1960s design style, was 29th of April 2005, Interim of Darkly Part 2, where we saw the exterior and the interior. That was the last time, because every single thing since has been a reboot, a remaster, a rejigger, a redesign. Nothing has tried to be the original. The last time we saw the original series Enterprise was 13th of May 2005, which was the last you know, 13 seconds of These Are The Voyages. So that is 15 years since we've seen TOS on screen. So for a lot of people who literally were not born by that point, have never seen TOS shown as a part of the canon, despite it existing in every other franchise of Trek except Voyager, which means it, it is you know double, triple, quadruple backed up as being the, the real, you know. Um, and so then to see in this episode, so what do we get in this? That was quite a long preamble, but to kind of give the story of, you know, it's been 15 years since we've seen TOS res respected. I mean, we got the, the Romulan Bird of Prey, uh, TOS, we got the uh, Type F shuttle, we got the a D7, could be a Katinga I mean, it's uh, in the background. Either there. and both. Possibly a Tholian. Uh, I think it's more Enterprise esque than it is TOS, but we'll get, it, get there. Um, we got the Gorn, and we've got the Salt Vampire. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Um, I mean, there are some movie ones as well, but we're not going to get into those. Uh, Salt Vampire, I would say not changed at all. Um, <laughs> Gorn, pretty much spot on uh, as well. Um, the, the TOS Bird of Prey, uh, Romulan Bird of Prey, I think maybe a good 90% the same. I think there's some window placements that are a little bit different. And uh, uh, obviously the bridge is different from what we saw in Balance of Terror, but I... I have no problem with that considering that was a prototype in yeah. that one as teching into a darkly as teching on the bottom yeah um the type f shuttle a good 95 percent the same i mean it's kind of in the distance so we don't see all the details but it looks like there's an extra window as you pointed out on the one side and you know lack of registry and stuff and lack of landing yeah. gear it's in the distance it's yeah. fine well we're, we're giving them we're just noting when well, you say that but obviously if you look below a vulcan lander i mean there's an extreme amount of detail on that thing uh, as far as the Tholian goes, it's definitely changed from TOS, but again, it looks very similar to the one in Enterprise. Um, so, you know, I'd say they're pretty much bang on, almost 100% for all of them. So, unless you think differently. Yeah, like I said, the window on the TOS shuttle, uh, the, you know, the Katinga, I mean, the Katinga is the version that we see from TMP all the way into Enterprise. <laughs> we know that... We know the story there. So the D7 is, is very much a, you know, TOS and TOS remastered. Even the D7 in Voyager is a up detailed Katinga, etc. The Tholian is, it, I've, I've done 3D with both, and it's the design of the Enterprise with the color palette, a design of the TOS, but the color palette of Enterprise. Because the TOS one should be orange, but this is a fat, thick one. The Enterprise one is thinner, and so that's an interesting hybrid, but I mean, I'm. And then Salt Vampire was my my biggest surprise one because it, it's so random. Clearly, there's a TOS theme this week. Uh, I mean, clearly, clearly, even mentioning Khan is, is obviously TOS and TOS movie. Um, the fact that, you know, Salt Vampire, and that, and that for me sets a precedent of, oh, because that's like, oh, so they didn't all die out. It actually changes canon a bit. Yes, oh. yes. Last of her kind, was she? Hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, it's, it's actually uh, great the way that they res respect. I think you, you, that's what it, you, you kind of get from Lower Decks is it's, it's, it's for Trek fans because there's so many nice references and things done properly and easter eggs and name drops and things that you might not instantly recognize but you know your subconscious knows that you know them but yes yeah, so, i mean then you know as, as a closing then uh you haven't actually had tos in any form as in the 1960s you know, clev cleverly detailed design by matt jeffries you know these designs do hold up physically they might not be as detailed but you could obviously update them slightly how do you feel then after 15 years, Stuart, to have so many crammed in one, so many re faithfully represented, and obviously in cartoon, everything kind of, you know, there's low detail on everything, so they don't stand out as being like, oh my god, it's low detail. Like, even, you know, the the, the Cerritos Bridge is low detail. Like, it's as low detail. Like, you could build that in TOS. As weird as that, it might, maybe not the ceiling, but you could build everything else, you know, you know what I mean? It's actually as, as simple as TOS. Um, how do you then feel 15 years and you're finally back to some original 2260s? I love it. And I want to thank Mike McMahon for making Lower Decks and being such a fan of Trek and kind of representing what, you know, if I if I was making a show like similar to this, I would do the same kind of things. So 
uh, I really appreciate that that you kind of get this good feeling when you're done watching it, you know. So yeah, and it, and it, it is in your face, but at the same time, it's it's just, it's just part of the world, as all of the universe should be, and and they could easily have thrown some discovery stuff in here, you know, they could easily thrown you know, well, not Picard so much, but and they didn't, which is great restraint. And like you said, this is this is you know, a Trek show made for and by Trek fans, and we can't wait for season two because it opens up possibilities that we're not going to get in live action because they are a different teams, different agendas. This show has an agenda of being Star Trek. Those shows have agendas. Yes. <laughs> um, and yeah, Mike, Mike McMahon. I'm waiting for the time travel episode. I want to see a whole TOS episode time travel thing or holodeck program. I'm fine either way. But I want to see like the inside of a Constitution class ship, and you know, just saying. You know what? You know what it's going to be? It's going to be the bowling alley. Yeah, I guess because that's the not. Alley. It's not funny to walk through the sets, or the corridors so much. But have it be the bowling alley, and that's and they're and they're, they're the TOS chairs and the drinking TOS cups, and, and they're eating. And Mariner's like they're playing bowling, and a and a boy Miller takes one of the cubes and eats it, which we've never seen before. And he's just like, tastes like chicken. Like, like that's the level of joke you do to be like integrated. Yes. Um, so yeah. can't wait for that. That one's on me, Mike. That one's on me. That was good, guys. For, for Mike McMahon and his crew, put down in the comments below what TOS references or episodes you'd like to see from Lower Decks. Um, that'd be a fun little thing to read and for you guys to get kind of creative. So. And speaking of creative, creative, we make a lot of content here. So if you want to be part of that, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you hit like so that YouTube knows you like us. And don't forget to click the notification bell icon to all as that helps the algorithm and helps the channel and helps you guys get notified whenever we do lives and stuff like that because we're always doing fun stuff. Yeah, we're trying to. Regular times, though, so do check in. Like if you see us at one point in one part of the day, we'll probably be there again at the same time. So do check in then. But of course, support us directly if you can because all the content is free. Go enjoy, watch, watch the backlog, watch our future log, eat a Christmas log, um, you know, all the good things. And uh, support us if you can directly via PayPal, Patreon, channel membership, Super Chats, or one-time donation PayPal, you know, all the great ways. They all support. Links down below. Uh, and without, you know, a, a few great people of you guys helping us directly, then the other lots and lots of you can't enjoy for free. So if you can, please do. And we do need all, and we do thank all, and we do appreciate all. If you can, please. And if you can't, just keep enjoying. That's right. And check the description of every video. Lots of cool stuff down there. Links for Teespring and stuff like that. So check yes. it all out. And until next time, guys, I'm Captain Foley. I'm Thomas. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.